as you can see by my rig, I'm just using a running ledger. Got a very small cube of luncheon meat on there. With a uh, size 14 hook. Got six pound line running free to the swivel. Small bomb weight. A uh, swivel. Stop any tangles. Also acts as a stop, and then the uh, sliding bomb. It's got the Guru uh, easy adapters, so if you get snagged up, you can uh, your weight comes off, it all breaks away. And the fish can escape without being attached to those of line. I'm literally just putting it down in that cove there. There's a ball of weed right in the centre there. It's dropping out about a metre from the bank. Using the uh, small Shimano bait runner. It's a 2500 model. It's the smallest one they do. Also fishing in the little cove, about a metre away from that fence style on the other side there, just out from the bank there. There you go, I've just caught this one. As you can see the hook's just in the bottom of the drawer, small cube of luncheon mate. It's only a small mirror cart. Probably about a pound. And again, that was caught just down by that indent, just by those weeds. I've had six of these little roach now. They're uh, lovely, immaculate condition. I say March is normally a good month to catch them in the lake here. You don't get pestered quite so much by the carp. In saying that, I've just got one on the other rod there. Taking line. Well, that was the one that just made my rod nearly fall in the water. My, meal, my real scream and spin. It's only a small common carp, about £2 at the most. Just gives a share if you're not watching the other rod, it can soon disappear. Here's another one, just fell to the uh, lunch of meat on the running ledger on the bottom. It's a lovely dark coloured fish. Another stunning roach. Also caught on the, uh, this is a soaked pellet I've caught this one on, on a size 16 hook. Soft pallet, pushing about an inch onto the bottom. Nice ghosting. Again on lunch of meat, fishing on the bottom. Get him in the net. No, nope, he's not ready yet. I say it's a lovely ghosty. Looks like a common in the net when I get him in the sun. It should. It's a 
with a colour change on it. I'm actually going to weigh this one. Right, that ghosty I had just a minute ago was four and a half pounds. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. But I kid you not, I've just cast it in. I've been in the water less than 10 minutes. And I've just got another one in the net which I'm about to unpack. This one is looking like a mirror cut. Quite a nice one too. Let's uh, get the hook out. Well, there he is. Another nice mirror cut. I try and keep them in the net rather than handle them for the camera just so it's easier to uh, get them back in and they're out of the water less. But yeah, there's another one on the lunch of meat on the bottom. Nice common. Common carp that is. This one here again. Just caught us on our luncheon, mate. It's uh, proven very well today. All my carp have been caught on luncheon meat today. And I've had some nice roach and rud on my luncheon meat, as well as the uh, soft pellet. Yeah. That's when I came and get them back. There's another one fishing on the bottom. I don't need to tell you what bait I was using. It's what I've caught them all on. Another nice America. Alright, it's two minutes past four. Oh blimey. I was just gonna do a time challenge. And the reel's spinning already. That's not even been in the water for a minute. Look at it go. These fish are hungry. Okay, took me a little bit of time to get that one in because I was trying to uh, record some of it as well. But it's in the net. Look in the corner of his mouth. There's the bait. That's a good sized fish, this one. Get my nut. Another lovely common cut. Let's get him back in.